Today we're exploring the future of Uniswap, the world's leading decentralized exchange protocol and why the recently announced V4 is significant, particularly in a bear market. Since its V3 release, Uniswap has facilitated over $1.5 trillion in trading volume and now with the forthcoming V4, they're looking to revolutionize on-chain liquidity and token trading once again. So let's dive in. The open source draft code for Uniswap's V4 is now out in the wild. The team has encouraged community members to explore, test and provide feedback and contributions. One of the most awaited upgrades with this iteration was hooks, which are now possible on Uniswap with V4. Hooks are essentially contracts which can be executed at different stages of a pool's lifecycle, like before or after a swap. This enables a new level of customization for managing liquidity pools. And if you're wondering what this actually means for users, it's quite Quite straightforward. With hooks, you can implement dynamic fees, set up on-chain limit orders, and even build a time-weighted average market maker, or TWAM. With hooks, it's even possible to automate the compounding of liquidity pool rewards. In the words of Hayden Adams, the founder of Uniswap, Hooks introduce a world with endless options and Singleton allows you to efficiently route across all of them. So what is Singleton and how do these improvements impact Uniswap's architecture and gas fees? Simple, because beyond the power and flexibility afforded by Hooks, efficiency is really at the heart of V4's architecture. By housing all pools in what's referred to as a Singleton contract, Uniswap V4 drastically reduces gas fees. This is achieved by no longer needing to transfer tokens between pools held in different contracts. V4 even supports trading with native ETH, providing further savings. Beyond this, the Uniswap team has been discussing the adoption of EIP-1153. This upgrade to Ethereum could further reduce transaction costs on Ethereum, although it's not been deemed significant enough to be included in the next Ethereum upgrade, which will be called Cancun Deneb or Dencoon. As for the competition, the Uniswap V3 code license expired in April which allowed protocols like SushiSwap and PancakeSwap to freely use the code, which they did immediately. While our discussion today is speculative, it's grounded in market trends, real data, and the history of the protocol. The point is, we're eager to see more details on Uniswap v4's release, and we're keen to see how it plans to stay competitive, innovative, and maintain its top deck status. As always, thank you for tuning in and stay defiant.